Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, hey, my name is Sarah, and I am so glad you clicked on today's video. Um, let's just start off this video with the, um, coronavirus elephant, elephant, elephant in the room. Yes, we're quarantined. Um, I live in Maryland, so my governor, Larry Hogan, has shut down all non-essential businesses, um, for the foreseeable future. I also live very close to Virginia, and... Their orders are till June 10th, which is three days before my boyfriend Alex's 21st birthday. So I really hope that that's not how Maryland goes about it. But yeah, coronavirus is a real thing. It sucks. Um, I hope everybody is doing mentally and physically okay. Um, I was sent home from UMW uh, three weeks ago, um, this past Wednesday, and it's Friday now um so a little while ago and we were supposed to be home for three weeks so this was actually going to be my last Friday at home I was supposed to go back to school um on Sunday but uh we're not going back for the rest of the semester um so yeah that's my coronavirus update I've been staying busy um doing a lot of like home projects around our house that I haven't gotten to do because I've been gone for school and stuff um Alex my boyfriend lives with us um I guess he lives here like mm, over 50% of the time from his own house, um, probably closer to 80 or 90% of the time. So he's been here. Sabrina, my best friend, was here for a couple weeks. She's gone back home now. Um, I'm bored, terribly bored. Um, school during this time is crazy. I imagine if you're K-12, like it's even crazier. And also if you're a senior and all your shit got canceled, I'm so sorry, like that would really suck. Um, I'm sure you're sick of hearing people like try to like tell you that it's gonna be okay, but I'm not gonna tell you that because I know it would suck. Um, so yeah, that's my coronavirus update. Um, I'm just hunkering down. Um, as for other things that I was just wanting to address, I uploaded a pretty intimate video a little bit ago. Um, I lost some subscribers and I got some nasty comments that were deleted because I don't want that on my channel. Um, but for anybody who commented something nice or private messaged me, like, I really appreciate it. Yes, it was difficult to post and I'm glad that other people are, like, getting what I wanted them to get out of it because some people were really rude. Um, and again, I kind of expected that, but, um, this is kind of all over the place. I'm just trying to, like, start this off, um, with, like, everything. Um, I'm gonna try to post Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I really want to like get this channel back now that I'm home and all that stuff. Um, my summer job hasn't been canceled yet, but I assume it's gonna get canceled eventually. If you don't know, um, anything about me or you're new, um, I work at the Bullis School in Potomac, Maryland during the summer. It'll be my fourth summer there. Actually, might be my fifth. My fourth or my fifth summer. Um, and I was kind of looking forward to it. It was going to be my last summer, so if that gets canceled, that suck. Um, the biggest concern of mine right now with the virus is definitely the Michigan trip being canceled. Of course, like, my biggest concern that's, like, totally, like, first world problem. Not my biggest concern, like, oh, that's my only concern in America right now. Um, but that is my concern right now for my personal self um that's my favorite trip of the year that's really the only vacation that we go on um and i just love the lake and if it gets canceled i'm gonna be really upset because that's like it was gonna be the dream year we um we rented my dream house that i've been waiting for us to rent for like four years um it's on the water we were gonna stay for two weeks instead of one it, it was gonna be epic um and i really really hope that we can go but it's just looking less and less so like we can um so moving back to my previous video that i posted um like i'm trying so hard not to talk with my hands because due to corona my um nail salon is closed and i do powder nails and so my nails are like dying right now they're so weak and they're disgusting and i'm trying to like not show them um but also to my other video, yes, I've decided to leave UMW. Um, I'm not sorry for it. Honestly, in that video, I was being very nice, but I'm, I'm done with UMW. Uh, no shade to anybody. Met a lot of great people there. Um, it's just, I really feel the same way I felt since 
freshman year, which is like you either love UMW or you really don't like it. Um, you're either like all in or you're like not in at all. There's no, there's no halfway. Um, I don't really, I mean, I'd say my roommates are kind of halfway, but still like they're pretty, like, I, I don't know. Like you just can't like half like UMW. I think it's impossible. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about everything I experienced that really like rubbed me the wrong way or anything like that. A lot of my problems with UMW actually stem from my problems with higher education in general, not just UMW, so I'm not going to throw my shade, but that's, I mean, like, I'm closed, that topic's done, like, we're not talking about it anymore. Um, that's my past. Uh, I am going to community college to get my life together for at least a semester, if not four semesters. Um, there is a chance that I'd finish a full program at my community college and then go on to a four-year university in Maryland, either Towson or UMD. Um, that's something to be determined, but yes, I'm going to community college. Um, I don't want to hear negative comments about that either. I have to do what's best for me, and that's what's best for me. Um, some of my goals since I've decided to stay home is I want to get an apartment. I want to move out. I love my parents. My parents are everything to me. I'm an only child, very attached to them. Um, but we have different standards of living. They've given me an amazing life. We have a really nice house. They just are dirty people. Not dirty like, oh, there's like a dirty cup on the floor. It's like dirty like not doing the dishes right when you're done eating or like, so, like little stuff that I'm just very OCD and cannot live with. So. End goal in the next year, move out um, with Alex. Um, it's very doable. It's an attainable goal. Um, it's something we were planning to do regardless anyway. We might get roommates. Chrissy, I've talked to her about it a little. Sabrina, we might get roommates. I mean, the more people, the better. Quite honestly, if they were willing to share a room and we just bought a t or we just rented a two bedroom, I'd be happy with that. Um, but yeah, I need to get a job. I don't know what that is yet. I'm a nanny, but it's Corona time. So I've been making no money, which literally sucks. Um, I haven't been hired at all. We do, I, she can't hire me. We're not allowed to. Um, but list is probably going to be canceled, which means I'm going to need to find a summer job. And I've tried really hard not to buy into retail. Like I don't want to work retail. Um, it's just a goal of mine to always love what I'm doing and I mean you're not always gonna love it but you know like generally so Lily is my baby she is my everything I've been her nanny for two ever since she's been alive so like two and a half years um but right now she goes to daycare during the day I mean I can't I'm not her full-time nanny I'm her nanny uh, after daycare and so that doesn't give me enough hours and last summer I worked at um Bullis, and I worked for Lily's mom and then I worked for another mom um, and that was like really like I loved that but I can't find and nothing's open so regardless of what I want to do nothing can be done right now which I think is like a really hard part about this whole thing is like there is no end in sight really um I read an article that said Maryland is gonna peak um on July 4th which would literally suck like if that's the case, I don't know what I'm going to do because that means the lake's canceled. That means Bullis is canceled. And then, like, you kind of have to scramble to get your whole life back together um, after all that. But I've been just diving into, like, house projects. Um, my parents are very much... My dad is, like, um, like of the Scottish mindset, um, if you know what that is, of, like, if, if it's broke, don't fix it. Um, I'm like, if it's aesthetically not pleasing, let's fix it. So, um, I took on the deck, which is a big project we've been working on forever. We've lived, in, we've lived in this house for eight years and the deck has never been finished. Um, my mom feeds the birds, which means bird poop and bird seed everywhere. So, um, I just currently, I'm trying to get the deck together. So I power washed it. Um, we ordered patio furniture, which we've never had before. Um, and I ordered rope lights to go around the deck. Um, I ordered a new microwave because we've replaced every appliance in this house. When we first bought this house, it was all white appliances. And as they broke, we fixed them. So the last one to get done is the microwave. So we ordered the microwave, we ordered the patio furniture. Um, so that's all good. 
Um, I or organized the pantry. Um, I've been doing homework at my desk. Alex has been playing a lot of video games. Um, what else have we done? We've done a couple things. Um, I, we, we cleaned the whole garage. Uh, my room is basically finished and I do want to do like a finished room tour, but I need to get a new desk. Um, I have the Ikea Hermes set, er, Hermes, H-E-R-M-E-S set. I have the bedside tables in the dresser and I want to get the desk that matches it. The only thing that I'm seeing right now is we've had that dresser for less than a year and it's soft wood and it's been kind of like scuffing on the side, which like that's a personal problem. It's Ikea furniture, but yeah, so I'm kind of hesitant to buy the desk, but I kind of think I'm just going to go for it. Um, but again, like moving is something that I really want to do. So I'm trying to get all that furniture done while I live here so that I can just take it all with me whenever we move, which I hope is not, I hope it's closer to six months in a year, but I really like, I'd have to hustle. Um, obviously I'm willing to hustle because it's a dream, but it's hard to hustle when nothing's open. So that is it for my channel i have videos coming out all next week i don't have a lot of video ideas after that so please like leave video suggestions below like nobody ever does it but seriously like i need video ideas um i've got three coming out two three two i think two three 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 so that covers up until two mondays from now and then we're back to square one with sarah having no idea what she's doing so if you guys have anything you want to see seriously i'm open to basically anything i'm so bored um so if you have anything you want to see please leave it down in the comments below again thank you so much for the support on my last video um if you were one of the ones who supported i really appreciate it it's hard to put your life out there especially when you don't really like that's your start you know um, but I hope you guys are finding some way to make this time, um, useful. Um, the weather's getting nice. It's spring, but my allergies haven't been that bad yet, which I highly appreciate. But it's spring, so, like, the weather is amazing. So I've been trying to go outside. We cleaned our cars today, stuff like that. So, again, leave your suggestions in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!